Let me talk about what the Buddha taught to us. Yo imasami tamma winayi apamato vihasati bahaya jadi sansara dukhasanta kresati. The Buddha said, choosing this term, referring to his teaching, Dhamma Vinaya, <coughs> trained with the Dhamma, taught with the Dhamma. The Dhamma is the most important. The Buddha teach, taught Dhamma. This Dhamma is safe all beings from suffering. Adanan Dharindi Chadusu Abhaya Pumisu Abhadamana Kadawa Dharindi Dhamma. It is Dhamma that paid <coughs> those who followed accordingly, who practiced Dhamma. Dhamma alone can saved from falling into woeful state. Therefore, now it is all Buddhist peoples all Buddhist disciples have the most important duties. This is the most important duty is to learn Buddha Dhamma, to ski, before the Buddha, bring Nirvana into Brainivana. <coughs> the Buddha's objective to his disciples learning the, the Buddha Dhamma attentively this is the first objective. Yeah. Practice, practice Dhamma accordingly. This is the second objective. The third is to explain Dhamma to the world. The fourth is when a beard, the different views against the Buddha's teaching. We must try to remove the opposite teachings. That is the Buddha's objective to us. Therefore, the most important our duty is learning the Buddha's Dhamma. <coughs> All the Buddha's Dhammas are talked in Pali. So, Pali language also the most important language. For us, that is a holy language. We should learn Bali. Then, we should try to understand correctly and Buddha's teachings. Therefore, <coughs> Learning and teaching the Buddha Dhamma is the most important duty of all Buddhist people. Not only monks have such a duties, monks and nuns, not only monks and nuns have these duties. All Buddhist people, even ladies, are also important to learn the Buddha's Dhamma. Now it is 
different, from different countries, different students, different language. Studies here. Therefore, we have to use English as a common language or media language. To understand Bodha Dhamma, to brush Dhamma, <coughs> common language is important. But the most important is individual languages. Your own mother tongue is the most important language. <coughs> we should not think whatever I explain it in English it is correct. English language English is just used as a media language. We must understand our the Buddha's Dharma in our own language. Our mother tongues individual is important. Therefore we should study Dhamma to understand with our own language. But media language is just for communication. Another point, if we say Indonesian language should be Pali for Buddhist people. Pali is Indonesian language, but now it is the most of the people think Pali is difficult. Actually, Pali is not so difficult. It is easy for all. Quite meaningful thing English. Some English, some Pali terms cannot be translated thoroughly into English. It is difficult to get the correct meaning. We cannot cannot be known with the English language. Sometimes it's so white English language. Unnecessary meanings is participate in the Koramin. For example, Avija Bhajaya Sankara. Sankara is translated into Polish activities. Chidana is Polish pollution. This is not except meaning. Chidana is not a pollution according to the definition of the word Chidana. Chidana should be stimulation, stimulation, motivation, motivation. It is very close to the Pali. So some translations are not good enough. Therefore, we must understand, according to our own language, there are many points which is not a suitable translation. For example, four foundations of mindfulness. Most translators use Satipatthana is the four foundations of mindfulness. What is four foundation? What is four foundations of mindfulness? Kaya, body, feeling, kaya, virna, chaita, mind, and dhamma. These are four foundations. Four foundation is cannot lead to purify. Just four foundation is cannot lead. Must be mindfulness. So, I'm going to do this translation. Four foundations of mindfulness, 
which purified the beings of for cessations of soka, pritiva, lamentation, uh, grief and lamentation, for overcoming of physical suffering and mental unhappiness. Just a full foundation cannot be. The Buddha wants to say mindfulness, only mindfulness. <clears throat> mindfulness also, not only mindfulness, is it together with knowledge. <clears throat> now it is, they practice mindfulness. Mindfulness alone, <clears throat> not full work. The Buddha explained mindfulness and sati and sambhachanya, mindfulness and comprehension. These two must be joined together. Mindfulness and comprehension. Nahi sati virida panya nama ati. There is no wisdom without mindfulness. Wisdom cannot rise without, without mindfulness. Mindfulness and wisdom must be together. Mindfulness alone also not useful. Mindfulness and knowledge must be together to walk. So we should understand in this way. Therefore, I want to encourage you when you are studying here, the studying learning is the most important because Without a learning, we cannot follow accordingly. We cannot practice Dhamma accordingly. Therefore, learning is coming too fast. Then, the followers, practices should be followed. Without a learning, the Buddha's teaching cannot remain in our own. The Buddha's teachings, the root of the Buddha's teaching is depend on learning. By learning we can have Sutta. Just a Sutta is not a Panya. Sutta in Panya is different. In this university, we have to study Sutta. This is Priyati Dhamma, what the Buddha taught. We should learn subject matters. Learning subject matter is a Sutta. Depending on Sutta, knowledge will become to be. Sutta, Banya, Banyaya, Vodana. Sutta lead to develop, develop, to develop the panya, lead to development of panya. Sutta panya, that is, Sutta is a subject matter, panya is understanding of the subject matters. Attentively, you should study the Buddha's Dhamma according to your own language. You should know, even media language, you should, <coughs> you should not be satisfied according to translation. You should know what the Buddha taught and deep meanings. Priyadiya Tidaya Sasana Tita. The Buddha's teachings will remain in this form. When learning is carry on. Therefore we have to learn. But just learning is not enough. Practice must be followed. 
according to British, we have to know more and more. Sutta Panya together, side by side, we must carry on the Buddha's teachings. The Buddha explained, it must mean your, it must mean Dhamma we need. Appamato we have said. Appamato means always attentively, always mindful. What it should be done, what it should not be done. And in the Buddha's teachings, in brief, the Buddha explained what it should be done, what it should not be done. What it should be done is kusala, hosan straight. What it should not be done is ahosan. So we must clarify these two. Then upper matter always must be meaningful in our life, in our daily working. Without <coughs> attentively we can't, even we cannot understand what is, should be done, what is, should not be done. What we should be done, we must do. What is, should not be done, we must avoid it. That is a practice. By practice, <coughs> the realized wisdom is coming to be. This wisdom is the most important. To carry on to be rice wisdom, we must have four conditions. The two conditions, external conditions, the other two conditions, internal conditions. Internal, external, these must be joined together. <coughs> Only externe not work. Only internal, not good enough. <coughs> For example, you sustain your life. You support your your bodies, internal, external, both. In daily food, external conditions. Your healthy state is internal. So internet and external <coughs> joining together, you can sustain your life. In this way, to increase your knowledge, there are two external conditions. What is it that? To meet good teachers, that is one. To listen to what he teach, that is the second. These two are external condition. Without a teacher, without his teaching, you cannot get wisdom or knowledge within you. Just you have teacher, you also learn. Just these two is not enough. Another is internal conditions Yoni som nasikara in tamanu tamabuti pati. Yoni som nasikara is wise attention. You must, by learning, by uh, what does your teacher teach? You must study mindfully and deeply, attentively. Wise attention, you must carefully think about consideration, the meaning, contemplation, so what are the meaning, comparing the, your experience. That is, you only saw Manasikara as wise attention. Wise attention, you only saw Manasikara is so wide meaning, not only attention. There, you only saw Manasikara is a composed of Sati, Panya, Viriya. Then another condition, internal condition is tama nu tama pati pati. 
you must have a suitable practice for your attainment. Dhamma means your attainment. The highest attainment Dhamma is mega pala nibbana. The power of impression and nibbana. The suitable practice is a new Dhamma. A new Dhamma is started with morality. So, internally, you must have a good morality. As a you are lebe, as a you are monk, you must have followed monk's discipline. As a lebe boy, you must have followed, observed your discipline. As a nun, you have to follow your discipline. Morality is basically important. This is a Dhamma Nu Dhamma Patipati. After that, you must try to develop mindfulness and comprehension, sati in Sambhajanya. Then you must try to develop concentration on the white. You must increase your, increase your concentration or samadhi. By means of that, you must try to increase your wisdom, inside knowledge, vipassana. Just to start, Everything is impermanent. Whatever condition things are all are impermanent. Daily you should contemplate in this way. By means of the, according to the the way of practice, your inside knowledge increase. By increasing increasing your inside knowledge, you can reduce your attachment. Attachment is important to reduce because attachment lead to attachments create body attachments in chindas in chindas soka worried worries come out from attachment where there is attachment there is worry surely where there is no attachment there is no worry therefore. To remove the worry, first you must reduce attachment or remove your attachment. To remove the attachment, you must cultivate inside knowledge, vipassana. So up to that, you must try. This is called the Manu Dhamma Patipati. So altogether, to increase your knowledge, you must have good teacher. You must learn and his teaching. Then you must have wise attention. You only somna sikara. You must follow according to uh, to do a day in a dharma. You must follow suitable practice. By this way, you can increase. Your knowledge or wisdom. Bahaya jati sansara, dukha sansara, gracefully. That is a good result for you. When you attain this wisdom, then you can you can try to cease sansara, and your suffering will be. You can make your suffering. You can make suffering end. So that is it. the goal of Buddhist practice. Up to this, the goal of Buddhist practice, we have to go with mindfulness, and we must go with comprehension. Therefore, we started with the learning, and up to. Wisdom and cessation of suffering.
Let me conclude my advice to you. May you all be happy. May you all free from suffering.